Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to episode 2 of our submarine build. In this episode, we're going to shape out the submarine a little bit more, we're going to add some details, and uh, towards the end we're going to add a drive line and kind of drive it around see how it handles in the water. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get right into the building, and uh, you know, I want to say thank you for all the support real quick, and uh, if you uh, like what you see, go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more.
Yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm starting to add the propulsion system to the submarine. I decided to go with a water jet for this for uh, a few a few reasons. Um, I'd like to think that they're good reasons, but I don't really know, so you guys can go ahead and tell me. Um, but I, I, I like how maneuverable you can make vehicles with them. Um, as you can see, the submarine kind of tapers in the back here. It doesn't really leave me a lot of room for control surfaces. So the, the uh, water jets, being able to kind of control their... Uh, pitch trim and whatnot is really, really useful. On top of, um, we're going to be underwater, and I figured that uh, there's no real need for, um, you know, multiple pro propellers. I mentioned in the previous episode, this is going to be a diesel and a hybrid with an electric motor. So with this, I can kind of contain it all into one, uh, one drive line which is really, really great. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of play around with this as this goes. It, it, it was pretty tricky. It, it took me a little bit of time and kind of a lot of trial and error to really get it to uh, function correctly. But you'll see in the end, it's very simple. It, it functions off of one key and one throttle. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what we got going on. And you'll see, we'll, uh, we'll drive it around a little bit here in a second and uh, kind of see how it handles. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, uh, that just about wraps it up for this one. I'm going to leave you guys with a, a few more minutes of gameplay of just me driving this up around and so you can kind of see what it looks like, how it reacts. Um, this is still a very early build, as I stated previously. We got a long way to go with this one, so I, I don't even have the motor in it yet. You guys will see that in the coming few episodes. I'm going to get the modular engine in it and a, a lot of the other pumps and uh, ballast kind of set up and whatnot. And uh, then we'll get a, a lot better of an idea of really what the sub can do and how it works and you know what what its issues are some of the kinks that we can try to work out and whatnot but but yeah so i'll uh, i'll kind of just leave it here and uh you know again thank you guys for watching i appreciate it i hope you all have a great rest of your day and if you want to see more uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and that lets me know to uh, keep making these vehicles for you